Howdy den- <clears throat> Damn. Howdy denizens. Crazy Jason here. Welcome to Kakala L. And a happy Memorial Day to you too, sir. Welcome to Kakalaki Movie Madness. Um, OJ is not able to be with us this week, in body at least. I'm sure he is with us in spirit. He was unable to arrive due to work scheduling conflicts. But I am heading down the interstate, keeping the madness alive. Voice slightly froggy because I am up early in the morning and I am not used to such. And I don't like such. Person that my brain really doesn't start activating until after 9 o'clock at night. And I hit my peak around 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, anyway, after about a two hour nap, I arose. Uh, bathed my body and got in the car to head to Greenville because it's worth it. 99 cent Blu-rays. That's worth it, don't you think? Yes, there's a Blockbuster here in Greenville. Um, now, <clears throat> Blockbuster all over the country is doing this today, Memorial Day. Um, not all of the Blockbusters are doing it, unfortunately. And some of the Blockbusters are only carrying... Uh, DVD titles and shit I have to be really cautious today because of course there are cops out in full force so you know driving down the interstate and filming myself like this is probably not the wisest idea anyway going to Blockbuster 99 cent Blu-rays see you there I had actually never been to this Blockbuster until last night I, I came over here last night to scope out the Blu-rays. Um, I ended up buying um, Devil for $2.99 because it was the only copy and um, you know I wanted the Expendables but they had five copies and uh, Dinner with Schmucks they had like four or five copies so I uh, figured I would take my chances you know and it appears that I am the first one here. Nope looks like there's a minivan in the parking lot. Arriving at address 1300 on left. But here's the thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to go stand at the door because I, I don't feel like fighting with these motherfuckers. They told me last night that there was a couple of people who said already that they were coming, you know, they were going to be here right when they opened and I've got this feeling that uh, there are these people that are coming to basically, you know, with boxes to basically clean them out and put it on eBay, which is fine. It's America. You can do what you want. But if I'm standing there and they grab all five copies of the Expendables or what have you right in my face, you know, I'm going to get pretty pissed. There's one other Blockbuster in town, and I can't remember which one it is, but I'm going to call them when, I, when we get out of here. Then the woman said they had a small stack or a, a, one box of, of Blu-rays. And I suspect that by the time I get over there, there won't be any left. But when we get out of here, um, I'll call and see. So the wait begins, folks. Okay, out. And with a big old stack. Now, he uh, was able to scan the inventory at another store here in town. The one on East Main Street. He said there were still 72 titles, 72 Blu-rays left over at that store. So... I am going to hightail it over there and see what I can find over there. Folks, this is a good thing that it's a holiday today because the pawn shops are closed. You know, that, that thing really gets on my nerves, but, you know, it's the voice on the, uh, the Scobbler there is not as annoying as the uh, Garmin voice. Um, I don't know what it is. Uh, the, the, the woman who speaks to me from the Garmin, she's kind of shrill, you know, kind of shrewish. And uh, the woman who speaks to me from Scobbler is a little more pleasant, you know, a, a little more, you know, like I'm in control. Feet, please turn right. See, that's just more pleasant than the other one that screeches at me. Okay, well, they had a very tiny selection, so, but I picked up three. Um, and um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a bite to eat. Got to put some gas in my car. And then I'm going to head to Easley, which is about 15 minutes down the road. And the reason why is because 
he checked their inventory and they have 494 Blu-rays over there. Now that scares the ever-loving fuck out of me because I cannot buy 100 Blu-rays. I, I hope that there are a bunch of titles that I already have. I mean, I hope there's, you know, four or five really good movies that I want, but, you know, I, uh, I've already purchased, I don't know how many, over 20. Um, and I mean, yes, they're only a dollar, but that shit adds up. So, I don't know. I've got a little bit of fear and trepidation mixed with great excitement going into uh, that last blockbuster. So, uh, damn, we'll see what happens. We are in Easley, <clears throat> South Carolina, guys and gals. Just sort of a vast urban sprawl, really, really spread out. Of course, I've never been to the Blockbuster here. I've never had calls to come to the Blockbuster here. Uh, 5 for 20 was not calls to come to the Blockbuster. But 99 cent Blu-rays, yeah. That's, uh, that's calls to drive an extra 15, 20 minutes, I think. And now, uh, this, uh, like I said, the store supposedly has hundreds of titles left. Pray for me, denizens. Pray for my wallet. Because, you know, I want to find some gems, but I don't want to fucking find 50 Blu-rays that I just can't put back. So that's kind of where I'm at. Listen to me. 99 cent Blu-rays, bitch, 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 all day long. Just bitchity, bitch, bitch, bitch. Well, you know, you bitch enough about something and uh, make it true. Put it out into the universe. I don't want to find a bunch of Blu-rays, and you don't. I came out of there with about three titles. Good, you know, not good, but cheesy titles. Yeah, they were pretty much picked over. Um... You know, and then all of a sudden I started wondering, why am I bitching about 99 cent Blu-rays? Uh, you know, so now I'm like getting all gung-ho. I'm thinking about going to Anderson, which you guys are going to, it's another 20 minutes down the road. But I called Anderson and the woman on the phone said they still had hundreds of Blu-rays. So do I take that chance? Um, by the time I get there, will they be picked clean like this store? I don't know. I would stop, but here's the thing that propels me forward. I was in here and I found Band of Brothers, but it was only one disc. I got my hopes up, I looked around, couldn't find any of the other discs. Who the fuck buys random discs? The guy at the counter confirmed that people do indeed just buy random discs of, 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 of a season of a TV show. He said this morning, several people came up. They brought, you know, um, like disc two, three, four from, from one of the seasons of Lost. And, and he asked them, do you want to go back and get the rest of the season? Nah, we'll just take these here. What the fuck? Seriously, what the fuck? Who just buys random discs from a season of, of a TV show? Who does that? And, and Band of Brothers, this was the last disc. Who buys all the discs except for the last disc? I don't understand. I don't understand. Well, I'm going to Anderson, folks. This has officially turned into a mega trip. Lord, I was born a rambling man. Trying to make a living and doing the best I can. When it's time for leaving, I hope you understand. Lord, I was born a rambling man. Hear it now. Feel like making donuts, donuts, donuts. Feel like making love. Feel like making love to you. Do, 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 do. Should I stop in a TJ Maxx? Should I? Should I? Should I resist? Can I resist? Well, power must not stop. Logan's Roadhouse. Let's go get us a steak, baby. It's Memorial Day. Let's go get us a steak tonight. We're going to treat ourselves. Hell, bring the kids. Kids eat free, ain't they, at Logan's? Hell, I don't know. I want a steak, baby. Hey, baby, there's the mall. You reckon the mall's open on uh, Memorial Day? 
What the hell is Memorial Day anyway? What are we memorializing? Okay, here we are folks. Blockbuster in Anderson, South Carolina. Never been here. Anyway, let's go in and um, again, you know, I don't want to be overwhelmed, but 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 I want a nice like I want everything. Everything has to be perfect. It's not good enough that I'm looking at 99 cent Blu-rays. Oh no, I've got to have the best titles, but not too many titles, because you know I don't want to I don't want to go over my budget. I don't want to have to make hard decisions, because my life is so hard here in the United States. Driving a car with air conditioning, with a PS3 and a 50-inch plasma, with 99 cent Blu-rays. Glad I drove to Anderson. Yes, they had they had Chloe, which I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but was one that I was looking for today, so that's cool. Um, I, I'm done now. I, I felt, you know, I'm done. I, I've got a ton of shit here. I mean, I, I don't know. I, uh, I probably have at least 40 titles, um, but then again, I picked up a lot of stuff for some friends, you know, and... Um, so I'll be taking those out of the hall. But I'm gonna go somewhere comfortable. I may uh, pull into a parking lot somewhere, or I may just go on home and, and do it from my home, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of this parking lot. It's hot as fuck, man. It's like 110 degrees in my car. But uh, yeah, I am very happy. And uh, haul coming up, folks. Alrighty, friendos. I'm back at the Hizu. I got to read some of your comments from the uh, teaser video already. I haven't had a chance to respond to anything, um, but I was really happy to see that uh, a lot of you guys were able to take advantage of the sale. That makes me happy that I was able to uh, spread the intel around and uh, give you. I, I read some of you guys like doubled your Blu-ray collection, and I mean found all kinds of good shit. So that that is the best part for me. Um, but anyway, what I have here, I have 31 titles. I pulled out. Um, <laughs> I, I culled from these, um, the, the, the movies that I bought for friends, um, and also the stuff that I, duplicates that I bought for trade or eBay or whatever, and I'm left with the titles that are for me. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on each movie. This is not like the weekly roundup. Um, if you're wondering what the weekly roundup is, I have a solo channel, for those of you who don't know, um, and I do a weekly roundup where I talk about DVDs and Blu-rays that I have accumulated and watched. Um, if uh, you're interested, uh, the link is in the underballs, as per usual, and you can go check out my channel and please subscribe. Thank you very much. All right, first up, Leaves of Grass. Total blind buy, something that I've seen at Redbox, been interested in, um, who knows. I know, I know, I know. The men who stare at goats. This is the if you <laughs> this is the joke of, of, of the sale. The joke of this year, the one movie that everyone will remember that was at every store was the men who stare at goats. Um, but you know, I haven't seen it, so it might be good. End of days, what great cheese is this? What great apocalyptic wonder. Um, it's actually not that good, but it's, it's, I don't know, there's something about it. Okay, next up, Funny People. It's the two-disc, uh, edition, and it does have both discs in it. Next up, The Fountain, which I saw in the theater, was highly disappointed. Why did I get it? Because I'm sure it looks beautiful on Blu-ray, and I'm hoping that maybe it will be better if I revisit it. I don't think so, but maybe... Um, if not, you know, again, a buck. Trade or eBay. Dinner for schmucks. Moving on. The Fourth Kind. Now this movie, Grace, I knew nothing about this movie. This is complete blind buy. Um, the only reason why I bought it is because I really like the premise. If any of you guys know anything about this movie, let me know, because this is looking really good. I, I'm thinking this is going to be a good little horror film. Clash of the Titans, baby. That's right, the original, not the new one. 
the original. The Crazies! So glad to finally have the Crazies on Blu-ray. I, uh, OJ gave me his digital copy, and I've watched it on my laptop like three times. Lovely Bones. I'm really happy to score this. I have not seen this movie. Um, sadly, it only includes the movie disc, not the second disc with the special features, but again, I keep saying it over and over, a buck. This is, again, this is one of those movies you really don't see anywhere. You don't see it at the Walmart, Best Buy, or Target sales. Um, so, happy about that. Sleepy Hollow. This movie grows on me year by year. It's become uh, one of the movies I, I watch during the month of October. Um, I just love the atmosphere. Lady in the Water. Shamalama Ding Dong. Never saw it. Uh, heard awful things. Um, I've seen it at pawn shops left and right on DVD and never wanted to pick it up. But there was something about it being on Blu-ray that, you know, I knew that the vis at least the visuals would probably be stunning. So I'm going to check it out. If not, you know, if I don't like it, then once again, trade or eBay. Silent Hill. I'm picking up a lot of horror titles today. Have you noticed? I, I have a lot more of it. Horror and thrillers seem to be the, uh, I don't know, what I'm, what I'm going after right now. Anyway, based on the video game, never saw it. Heard, I have heard mixed things. I've heard a lot of people say this is a really scary movie. Um, looks pretty good. Chloe. This is one that I was actually looking for today. One of the few titles I actually had in my head, other than Valkyrie that I really, really wanted to get, and it was at the last store that I went to, and it was the last copy. Surrogates. Next up, we'll see The Expendables, World Trade Center. This, uh, again, this is the two-disc edition, um, and it does come with the two discs. I've heard mixed things about this movie, so I'm really, really interested. I, I can't stand... I think what, what's really hard is Nicolas Cage with the mustache. You know, that just, ugh. But uh, Oliver Stone. Spiderwick Chronicles. I've never seen it, but um, years ago I saw the trailer and it looked really, it looked like a throwback uh, kind of film. Trick or Treat. Now, I picked up Trick or Treat at Best Buy about a month ago for $7.99, and I thought that was a good deal. Got it for a buck. Gonna return the other one. I don't know at this point if I'll get my money back or a gift card, but hell. The New Daughter. Um, this looks like a good cheesy thriller. Just a kind of crappy cheesy thriller that's right up my alley. And it's got Kevin Costner in it, which I can watch him in just about anything. So, Observe and Report. Now, I rented this on Blu-ray way back. It didn't take. I actually took it out after about 15 or 20 minutes. It was getting on my nerves. I didn't find it funny. I was starting to hate it. I was starting to loathe Seth Rogen. But for a dollar, I'm going to give it another shot. I'm going to give it another chance. Next up, this was the only copy I found at any of the stores. Doomsday. Next up, I picked up The Girl Who Played With Fire. And... The girl who kicked the hornet's nest. Um, yeah. This is from the trilogy, and I need the third one to complete it. So, there you go. Pretty cool that they had these, though. Next up, um, Identity, which is, I, I, this is a great, great thriller. I love this film. The thing is, I also picked up Vacancy. Now, when I, I picked up Vacancy first, and I got Vacancy confused with Identity. I don't know why. I, I guess there's, uh, you know, there are similarities, um, you know, and, but uh, I'm glad I picked up both. Um, vacancy being the lesser of the two films, in my opinion. Secret Window. I, uh, this is one of those movies that's just super cheese, folks. Um, it's a love it or hate it for a lot of people, but for me, it's just... You know, I can't take Johnny Depp seriously in this. He's just too silly. I always think of Jack Sparrow. Um, but it's good fun. Saw 6. There's so many horror films today. I don't know what's going on. But 
to me, all the Saw films are the same. Um, every time I watch one, I hope that it'll be better than the last one, but it's not. They always look shitty on Blu-ray. Um, I always enjoy the Saw films, but never want to keep them. I always, you know, trade them or whatever when I'm done with them, which I'm sure I'll do with this one. Unless this is the greatest one in the series. Actually, don't let me know, because, you know, I don't, I don't want to know. This, this next one was a really strange one. This, the, I, was, I was surprised that I found this. Micmacs. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, from the director of Amelie and the City of Lost Children. This was a total shock for me to find this there, and really cool. Um, let's see. I think this is the last one, folks. Wow, I went through this quick, didn't I? Survival of the Dead, yes. I have heard nothing but horrible things about this. Now, I like Diary of the Dead, but you know what? I, I do want to see it because it's Romero, and I, I watch all of his movies, and I haven't seen it, so there you go. If I don't like it, you know, whatever. So that's it, folks. Um, I came away with a lot of horror films, some comedies, some cheesy thrillers, all in all, I'm really happy. I saw a lot of stuff there that I already had. A lot of stuff that I picked up at the movie gallery and Hollywood video closings last year. So, th I mean, this this blows that out of the water, though. Um, I mean, the best we got last year was $2 for a Blu-ray, which was really fucking good. But, um... Do you hear that? Can you hear that? That ding ling -y ling -y? It's an ice cream truck. I swear to God, there's an ice cream truck that comes around my neighborhood. I don't know if you can hear it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have had a uh, great Memorial Weekend. Um, and I hope that uh, I'm glad that a lot of you have, have been able to participate in, uh, in the Blockbuster sale. And here's to hoping that the sale continues or they get more titles in or have another sale or something like that so more people uh, can... We'll see you next time on Kakalaki Movie Madness, baby. It's the ice truck denizens. Yes, indeed. I told you that there was an ice truck in my neighborhood. Lo and behold, there it is. Should I get an ice cream cone? Bye bye, ice cream man.